I don't even know if I can get my headphones <laughs> anywhere. Can I, I? Oh, that feels really awkward. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're listening to the band Babe Ruth with their song The Mexican. This is off of their album First Bass which was released in 1972. A ton of you guys have been asking me to listen to this song. Uh, I've never heard of Babe Ruth, the band. I've heard of the baseball player but not, not of the band. Uh, so I figured why not listen to them today. Uh, so my wife and I on our, um, on our honeymoon we had gone to Mexico on a cruise and uh, this was one of the hats we got. I don't know if I can, like, I have my headphones in the back of my head really awkwardly. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I tried. I tried. All right, this is more comfortable. I can actually hear the music. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You are more than welcome to join me on Twitter in the comments below as well. And let's do it. This is Babe Ruth with the Mexican.
Not at all was what I was expecting. Not at all. But something I did expect and I was really glad I got was some Spanish guitar goodness. I love the way that the guitar is played in here. First acoustically and then as it moves into the, um, you know, the amplified plugged in, if you will, sections. <laughs> um, lead guitar is played by Alan Shacklock. That is a cool name who also plays organ and some of the percussion. This is beautiful. I love this type of music. I love this type of setting. And this sets the scene like excellently, right? But from this and as it moves on later, get that deep fuzz. Now, let's talk about this part right here. Let's talk about what plays at that section. That sounds really familiar. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's based off of a theme or if I've heard it in a different capacity before. I mean, I've watched a lot of like Clint Eastwood movies. Not a lot of, um, oh, who's the other guy? Uh, John Wayne. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't really watched a lot of John Wayne. I think, I don't know if I've, I might've seen like one or two cowboy movies from him. I've seen the Green Berets with John Wayne in it. Uh, but yeah, I was a Clint Eastwood guy. Uh, I don't know, that just sounds like I've heard it in like a movie or something. This part with the guitar. That specific, that specific line that the guitar's playing. Sounds like a theme, uh, but I can't quite place it, to be honest. Regardless, guitar is like, <laughs> perfect. Uh, the bass, I love the bass playing throughout the whole song, just really driving it. I like how in the final third of the song, how the guitar drops out just allows space for the drums and the bass to breathe. The guitar comes back in, then it leaves again, allowing more space for the guitar and the bass to, or the drums and the bass to breathe. I thought that that was really cool. And then the singing is done by Jenny Han. Uh, I don't know if I liked the singing. I, in, I enjoyed it for, I enjoyed it in the moment, like as a first listen. I don't know if I quite loved it, but one thing I can acknowledge about it is the amount of passion and power that the song is sung with. I thought that the singing in that capacity was really nice. I don't know if I quite enjoyed it, but it was it was like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it was acceptable for me. Like you hear the power in this, and this little, I love the way she holds the note there. Just the music in that section, it becomes so soulful. Do you guys get that? Like, the I don't know what it is. I mean, it's the way that they constructed the music, but the chords and the way it builds up, it feels uplifting and it feels so soulful in that moment. Really, really unique before it jumps back down into that driving bass line and those really nice uh, thematic Spanish guitar leads. And I like how throughout the song, if I can come back to the guitar really quick, I like how even in the solos, ooh, nice growl there. Uh, even in the solos, it still retains that thematic play that it's been doing the whole time. It still retains the Spanish themes. It never loses sight of that. It never goes off or strays too far from it. It is always coming back to that center theme, which I find is also really cool because a lot of times, let's just take the guitars, for example, they may have a solo and they may play the solo completely, you know, athematic from what they've established before. This doesn't ruin that. This doesn't topple that. It plays off of what was established before. Setting the scene, now we're moving the plot. Also, I've been looking at this album cover a little bit. It looks like astronauts or spacemen playing baseball. They're okay. I just saw that one is riding on a shark. I guess they're both riding on sharks. So maybe they're not astronauts. They're scuba divers <laughs> or, or something like that. That's kind of cool. They look like uh, the helmets look like. Is it Black Manta from Aquaman? I don't remember who who, who it is. <laughs> and I like how in one moment in the lyrics they say, uh, "Let me pull it up here." At one point he said, or at one point she says, and I cry, 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 cry. And at that point the drums like become really dramatic as well on the snare. And they later on do the exact same thing when he says, uh, when he's like talk, or when she's talking about laughing out loud, ha ha ha. So it's an interesting change in the story of the song from laughing, or I'm sorry, from crying to laughing. That's cool. And then lyrically, it seems like it's talking about the Alamo which honestly I'm not too familiar with. I only have like very base knowledge, probably not accurate. Uh, but funnily enough, like a few days ago, I had watched scenes from a movie featuring the Alamo or was about the Alamo. And I don't remember what movie it is. I have to look in my history <laughs> for YouTube. But it was like, I know that one of the scenes was, I think it was David Crockett or Davy Crockett. And he was shooting at Santa Ana. Like, I guess just to show like how accurate he was. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't remember what movie it was. But let's talk about the lyrics here. Chico Fernandez sleeping on his gun, dreams of Santa Ana fighting in the sun. 
Drums so loud from both sides make it hard to dream. Bruises fall on hard and fast makes it all seem real. So I get that it, the story is basically talking about this, this soldier, Chico Fernandez, and he's dreaming of Santa Ana fighting in the sun. So I'm assuming he's on Santa Ana's side because he's looking up to him fighting in the sun. Morning come morning, and Chico's got to have his share. Morning, sad morning, said he must be there. So this is, and as we get into the song and the tale, uh, it's basically this young man who is basically, you know, he has these dreams of fighting in the sun and following in Santa Ana's footsteps. And, you know, even later on, Senorita pining, Chico, come home. Santa Ana's losing. You'll be the first to go. Like, if you go out there, you're going to die. Um, and that, that is a sad story, you know. But I really like the way that it's told, especially, like I said, the way that the lyrics are delivered. Sam Houston's laughing, Davy Crockett too. When Anna takes the Alamo, the first to go is you. Morning come morning, a Chico's got to have a share. Morning, sad morning, morning. Heaven will be there. So now we're really uh, talking about death. And then once again at the end, morning, sad morning, what a laugh, and out loud, ha 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 ha. So I think the lyrics are really nicely laid out, especially in relation to the plot. I think the music perfectly carries that plot, especially, I'm going to say it again, the guitar. Love it. Um, <laughs> it's just an all-around good story, good history, uh, good representation of what took place, and great music. I mean, what else? Guys, thank you so much for the recommendation. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like, you can follow me on Twitter. If you like, you can support the channel on Patreon. But for now, I just hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.